Welcome to our channel. Princess of Wales early this week looked happy and healthy when she was spotted in public with Prince William for the first time since her surgery. The future queen still looked beautiful as she visited a farmer's market in Windsor. The couple stopped by the market after taking their children to sports activities. There were no more details, but the main thing was they were all together. This bodes well for the hope that Catherine and the kids, accompanied by Prince William, might appear on Easter Sunday. This year, it will all depend on how the princess is feeling. Despite Princess Catherine being made of strong stuff, the outlandish speculation about her was not, however, what she ever expected. Not only did it affect her and husband William, but the children. They are protective of their mother especially as she has been unwell. Catherine has been bullied without any kind of pity or respect by the media, the same media that sells her pics and follows her in her engagements. I only hope that in these two months, she has been able to enjoy the time with her beautiful family, to feel the protection from her husband, and to learn how loved and respected she is by the people, leaving the trolls and some of the media alone. All the family deserve some final downtime with their kids before it all starts up again. For the next couple of weeks over the Easter school holidays, the Waleses are hunkering down and concentrating on their family life. One more thing, I am sure, she will be back as soon as she is ready, stronger and more beautiful than ever. The Prince and Princess of Wales married each other in a truly fairy tale wedding on April 29, 2011. But one of their true joys came two years later, on the 22nd of July, 2013, when the royal couple became parents for the first time following the birth of Prince George. Less than two years later, happiness came again for the couple as on the 2nd of May, 2015, they welcomed their daughter, Princess Charlotte. Much like her older brother, Charlotte was introduced to the world by her beaming parents just hours after her birth. Less than a week before William and Catherine's seventh wedding anniversary, the pair got the sweetest present with the birth of their youngest child, Prince Louis, with the young prince born on the 23rd of April, 2018. Unlike their royal cousins, the Wales children have remained fairly static where they have lived. George has been the most mobile, with the young royal originally being raised on the grounds of Bedorgan Hall in Angsley, Wales, before the family moved to Kensington Palace in 2014. The family had moved to Norfolk for Charlotte's arrival before returning to Kensington Palace in 2017, with Louis spending time at Kensington and Anmer Hall before the family moved to Adelaide Cottage in Windsor in 2022. Royal watchers have been treated to many glimpses of the Wales children over the years, with George undertaking his first royal tour before his first birthday, and Prince Louis stealing the show during appearances at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and trooping the color. Due to his lineage, George is destined to the king one day in the future, something that the young royal will be acutely aware of. However, his parents are still making sure that the youngster is able to enjoy his childhood. When he was three, William explained, there'll be a time and place. Right now, it's just a case of keeping a secure, stable environment around him and showing as much love as I can. Royal watchers have been able to see the young prince growing up before their eyes, with George first accompanying his parents on a royal tour before he had even turned one. The young royal was with his parents for a three-week trip to Australia and New Zealand, and made two public appearances, one at a playgroup and another at a zoo. The young prince was described as having stolen the show, despite only being nine months old. George has been a trendsetter during his life, making historic appearance at his grandfather's coronation as a page of honor. It's been speculated that the young royal will be able to skip military service unlike some of his predecessors, and might not have to undertake full-time royal duties until he is in his 20s.